This will be a little surprise, but I I've already been working a lot of hours in here. A lot of hours. It's hard to get a good a good look on it. But yeah, I I'm not finished yet. I still need to make a little bit here. Probably here, I don't know. Um I think that was good. And I also just have to grind up grind uh, some spots down. I've just made this up here. As you can see, it's still not uh, ground down uh, like it is here. Um, yeah, I think already in here I've put like... Mm, let me think... Like eight or nine plates already and I'm not finished yet so yeah I, I think I think this is because I'm new to all of this so I think it has taken me 70 hours and also right in here under the front seat I've made a plate which has a little height to it because the the seat sits on this specific height. So uh, it was very, it was pretty hard to do. And, uh, I yeah, and I, that's why I did it off camera, all of it. I also welded it from the bottom end uh, upside, so both sides are welded. and yeah concerned of why there was uh, nothing behind uh, what I, what I just cut out there was yeah it was just a cabin so uh, but yeah I, I just thought that there was metal and uh, uh, it, my assumption was wrong the, it, it's only held together by uh, a little a lip uh, at the bottom that you'll see later in the video I'll be working on <laughs> because it's yeah it's it's just bad but yeah uh, well this little piece here is great and I, I'll keep that to to know which which height I have to to do the lip all the way through
I just got this lip in, and now I have to fill this hole uh, that is in the corner here, that is a little bit bigger of a piece. done I'll fill out the hole with two metal platings and if you can see uh, in the middle of the lip uh, it's a little bit shorter than the two sides I just made it's no problem I'll I'll cut it uh, so it's the same height all the way through the, the right height here too. Right away I just cut out the rotten piece and ready to, to do all the prep work to weld in a new little piece.
because it kept on making a little, a, a little hole either it's because I'm new to welding and new to all of that but it could also, it could also be because of the rust and it was just a, a thin piece of metal I was welding so it kept on making a, a hole <laughs> And as I said earlier in the video, I'll have to cut out this little lip because it's just a little too long and I have to make it the right way. The right height and yeah, the right length. finished up there shouldn't be more rust uh, to uh, to work on inside here and uh, I think it turned out pretty great I really worked hard to, to do all of this I think I put in like 150 hours in this uh, so a lot of hard work and uh, yeah, it's just hard to get the right angle to to weld and, and grind all of this up again and yeah, it's just a really hard place to, to do anything when when you're working on the ground especially but nevertheless I really think it turned out great and, and I really learned a lot from this I hope you enjoyed the video be sure to like and subscribe if you would like to follow the project all the way through The spare wheel is just too bad of a condition, so as I told you in earlier videos, we have to cut it out halfway here and just uh, cut it out and uh, weld in some new um, new plate and stuff. Maybe we'll make our own, so I'll just measure uh, the diameter 
of how much you need. So maybe we can uh, cut it off of a of an of another vehicle. Uh, it, it doesn't need to be a Ford Taurus, uh, but it could also just be um, like a Citroen or something. I don't know. Just that the, the, the diameter and the, the depth is is the same. We can use it and <laughs> in better condition than this. So I'll just miss it. About 65, 65 centimeters in uh, diameter and uh, 16 in, uh, in the depth. But yeah, it, the depth is not that big of a deal because we'll, I think we'll only cut it halfway anyway. So, so the depth is not that big of a deal. It's more the diameter that needs to fit in.